yes, you're wrong. You should be doing it for the next 30 years, not 10. In other words, you're absolutely correct. Okay. Since you have a very long time horizon, we know that historically the stock market has always been the uh, asset class that has produced the highest rates of return, real estate, bonds, bills, oil. Yeah, <coughs> right in the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always produced the highest returns, but it's also the highest risk of all of those asset yeah, classes as well. Uh, risk and reward go hand in hand, and uh, that means volatility. But so what? Um, over 30 years, you can ignore volatility on a day-by-day -day basis, and besides, you're not going to be investing in a single lump sum. You're going to be investing slowly over time. So if you're doing this in your retirement account at work, with every paycheck, you're making another contribution, another purchase of shares. So you'll, so you'll be doing something called dollar cost averaging, which smooths out the volatility in a way that serves your best interest. So you're absolutely right, John. You should be investing at your age 100% of your contributions into stocks, stock funds, uh, and you should do so, I think, not just for 10 years, but well into your 50s, uh, or even by the time you get there, probably into your 60s. Uh, over time, uh, as you get closer to using the money, as you are retired, then yeah, you're right. You want to reduce your equity exposure and move into safer asset classes. But I wouldn't worry about that for 30 or 40 years. Well, CHP got a mess Good there, question. huh? Thank yeah. Um, if I have time, can I ask one other question? Sure. Um, so right now I'm trying to decide whether to do traditional or a uh, Roth. Uh, Look at them right now. Uh, up there, it's free. There's the next spot. The money saved now from deferred taxes on like times to growth versus how much yeah. time. That's the kind of money they'll get you want to put a bullet right